Here we are zooming into a Hubble image of Stefan's Quintet. As the name implies, it is a group of five galaxies. The name, however, is a bit of a misnomer. Studies have shown that group member NGC 7320 is actually a foreground galaxy. At 40 million light years away, it is about seven times closer to Earth than the rest of the group. Here's the web image. This mosaic, a composite of near and mid infrared data, is Webb's largest image to date, covering an area of the sky about one fifth of the moon's diameter, as seen from Earth. At the center of NGC 7319, there is a supermassive black hole around which the galaxy is rotating. This one is active, meaning significant quantities of material are falling into it. These are referred to as galaxies with an active galactic nucleus, or AGN for short. As falling matter approaches the black hole's event horizon, it becomes very hot, and a small percentage of it is pushed away from the black hole in the form of winds and jets just before it would have passed across the event horizon, never to be seen again. Webb has on board a medium-resolution spectrometer as part of the mid-infrared instrument to analyze the light spectrum of objects like these to determine the chemical makeup of the material falling into the black hole. With this, scientists can measure spatial structures, determine the velocity of those structures, and get a full range of spectral data. The spectrum reveals the supermassive black hole has a reservoir of colder, denser gas with large quantities of molecular hydrogen and silicate dust that absorbs the light from the central regions of the galaxy. The spectrum from the black hole's outflow shows a region filled with hot, ionized gases, including iron, argon, neon, sulfur, and oxygen, as denoted by the pixels at given wavelengths. The presence of multiple emission lines from the same element with different degrees of ionization is valuable for understanding the properties and origins of the outflow. Note that the units are brightness. A Jansky is a very small unit, 10 to the minus 12th watts, and Webb is detecting down to 0 0.001 Janskys. Picture a dim one watt light bulb. Webb can detect a wattage that is 0.00000000000001 watts. It's quite remarkable. 